Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. You may have stumbled across this video because you may be purchasing a puzzle for a puzzler in your life or you are a puzzler and you're just wanting to have other ideas for your wish list. We are going to be talking about my gift guide for 2023. I will link last year's down below because I discuss a bunch of stuff that is not puzzles in that video and I kind of avoided the topic last year. But gifting a puzzle might be quite tricky because there are so many different brands so many different images and each puzzler has their own preferences. So I would suggest if you ask them what do you want for Christmas and they say I like puzzles, ask what type of puzzles they enjoy or if they have a Instagram or a social where they post pictures of their finished puzzles, that might be a good indicator of what style of puzzles that they do. If you have access to their collection, that might be a good indicator to see what brands and styles that they like. Um, but I would just say ask your puzzler what type of images that they like to do because that would just lead you in a better direction than just shooting blindly and picking a puzzle that you think is beautiful but as a puzzler, it might be something that they may not have picked themselves. So we are going over specific brands today and maybe what to look for in gifting puzzles. Again, everything is subjective. What I am suggesting may be completely different than what your puzzler prefers. We are going into this today. We have some fun brands that are super new. We have some brands that are easy to find on Amazon. And then I have a couple unique things that might surprise your puzzle lover. So we are just going to get into this. I have so many brands here and I will say I had a hard time narrowing it down. I tried to narrow it down to 10. That did not happen. Um, I originally had like 30 on this list. So there are so many great puzzle brands out there that you might consider. But we are just going to get into this because I feel like this intro has been quite lengthy. But if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for watching. I would love if you subscribed and let's just get into the gift guide. Starting off this gift guide, I wanted to include a couple brands that you may be familiar with that are quite popular. They're easy to find and they have a huge range of images. So if they like more photograph or landscape or more artsy stuff, there is something for everyone from these puzzle brands and they are beautiful quality. I have done tons of them and I have really enjoyed their stuff. So the first one I'm going to talk about is New York Puzzle Company. This one you can find usually under $20 depending on the website. And again, they have a ton of different images to choose from. This one, unfortunately, I just grabbed from the shelves and I realized it's one that was discontinued, but they again have a huge range and the piece quality for me is lovely. I like the different piece cuts. I never had a bad experience with a New York Puzzle Company puzzle. Plus the box is lovely and sturdy. So that one is a great option and I'm also going to suggest Ravensburger. This is a very sought after brand for a puzzle lover because their quality is always consistent. I have done probably two dozen of these puzzles and I've never had an issue with false fits. I love the coloring and again the range of image is absolutely incredible and I've never had a bad experience. I feel like for me if I was to be gifted a Ravensburger puzzle I'd be so excited because I love doing them and I love having them in my collection. It's just a, such a treat to do. Price point it really depends on the image and where you're shopping. I found them under $20. I've often seen them $25 to $30. So you can find them pretty easy so I think this is also a great option. The next puzzle brand I want to include because this is such a great giftable puzzle brand. If you may not know what style of puzzle that they might enjoy, you may like this brand because if you know that they like say the Golden Girls, they like other movies, this brand has a lot of really fun images based off of books, TV shows, more novelty licensed stuff. And it's super fun, but really good quality. So this is USAopoly or the Op Puzzles. I have this one here called Dr. Seuss Books. The quality was absolutely fantastic. Beautiful pieces, lovely fit. And I really enjoy this one. And they have so many different images. So you can find a puzzle based off of other things that they enjoy, which may be just really fun, really unique, and a little bit more personal than just like a standalone puzzle. So love this one. Quality was beautiful and it's definitely something I would love as a gift. The next puzzle here I chose because it's such a beautiful design and also easier to get on Amazon. This is Elena Essex. She's a newer brand, so just a few years old. And I will just say the puzzle box is just so sturdy, so lovely, and the quality of the puzzle is stunning. I have done three or four so far from this brand. I loved every single one of them. Such beautiful color, such beautiful quality and I have never had a bad experience and I just feel like the box is so 
lovely. Um, if you have a larger budget for your gifting, maybe get a couple of these. It would just be such a lovely gift. And I just think presentation wise, it's, it's really beautiful. Speaking of beautiful presentation, I couldn't do this gift guide without including this puzzle. Now, they don't have a huge selection. I think they have four, maybe five different images to choose from, but it's a great option if you are gifting a puzzle, but they also love to read, or if you're just wanting to gift a puzzle that is absolutely beautiful to look at. So this is from King's Wild Project. I had to include it in this video because presentation-wise, it is perfection. It's exactly like a Robin Hood book. We have a beautiful binding here. Um, everything about it is just like ornate and stunning. Um, inside we have the puzzle pieces with a poster but they also come in a nice little bag. Like everything about the presentation is absolutely stunning. I have a whole video on this one. I absolutely loved it. It's also double-sided, which kind of makes it a unique experience. So if you're not wanting to just like gift any old cardboard jigsaw puzzle, maybe you want to have like a, a different quirk to it. It's a great option because it kind of gives you another alternative. You have the double-sided, you have the one that's the deck of cards, and you have the ones that is their joker card. It's just a really fun concept. And again, presentation-wise, beautiful puzzle gift. They also, if you are on there, they do include sets that include a mini puzzle and decks of cards. You can buy these separately too. So as like a whole gift, this is just like so beautiful and fun. And again, they do come in bundles if you want to, or you can just get a standalone puzzle. But I just feel like the little extras kind of make it extra special. So I'll link them down below as well. I really think they'll just be really surprising because it's a brand they probably have never heard of. And they have such beautiful packaging. So we talked about double-sided puzzles. I'm also going to include these two brands here because there are some styles of puzzles that have like a surprise element to it, which may be really fun to gift a puzzler. So the first one I want to mention may still be my favorite puzzle of the year, hands down. I love the quality of the puzzle, but the surprise element was so much fun that I think it just might be a cool little concept to gift to a puzzler. This actually is available also in Walmart in some places, so it might be easier to get your hands on in person. So this is Magic Puzzle Company. This one here is called Mystic Maze. Again, I don't want to spoil it for people who are watching who are puzzlers that have never tried this brand before, but there is a surprise element. The whole presentation is lovely. I want to say they retail around $23, so not an extravagant amount. And the, the quality was stunning. Everything about this I loved. And it just gives like a little bit of fun difference to a puzzle gift. Also wanted to mention Puzzle Twist. They are also a brand that does something a little bit surprising. They have a few different options. I would suggest gifting the Something Amiss line because this is something that the image is pretty close to what you see on the box but there are some aspects that are a little bit different. So for example, um, the ores here are just like different colors in the actual puzzle that you're doing. There may be an additional bird somewhere. So there's just like little tweaks that just makes it like, what are, what's this piece? I don't see it on the box. It kind of gives you a little bit more excitement. And so I think this would be a great option. <laughs> I will say though, if they're short on space, the packaging may be a bit bulky, um, but it does look and feel lovely. So I have done one of these on my channel, absolutely loved it, and would think it'd be a really fun option for a gift. The next selection of puzzle brands was really hard to narrow down. These are like the newer or trendy puzzle brands that I wanted to include. I could have added easily a dozen. Like I had so many in this selection of puzzles, but I, I needed to make it a little bit easier to manage as far as the list goes. So I have so many other options. So if you are a puzzler and you wanna add a brand, please let me know down in the comments because I would just like add to the conversation. So this next brand I wanted to discuss because I've been fangirling over them since their very beginning. They have definitely grown over the years, but I originally started following them when they only had, I think, three images and they're only 500 pieces. They now have a wider variety of images and piece counts, and this is Art and Fable. They are just a really fun, unique brand. They have really interesting designs that are all from licensed artists. 
every puzzle that you purchase goes towards some type of charity which is awesome and so I have a couple images here just to show you what they have but they have so many options and I wanted to include them because the packaging is lovely um, they also include a couple little extras all their puzzle pieces come in a ziploc bag they also have a box top stand which is super fun and they have this nice hard type image which I wanted to include as well so they have like little extras which just make it a fun little experience which I think is lovely but the puzzle quality I think is definitely beautiful I also have done this one in my collection the most out of any other puzzle that I have and I absolutely have loved it now if there's someone who has like a texture thing this may not be something that they may enjoy because they do have what is called soft touch so it's like this velvety type of texture on the pieces which I love but I can see how it can be off-putting for some people. So I wanted to mention that in case they have a texture thing. Um, but I do really love these puzzles. They have so many different new images out there. There's some really bright and colorful ones, more illustrated. And they have some that are really beautiful and artsy. You can find them on a couple different websites. I'll link them down below or their own website, which I think usually has free shipping if you buy three of their puzzles. So it is just a beautiful option. And I feel like they're very trendy right now, which might be a really fun thing to gift. The next puzzle brand I want to mention because they are brand new. So this is a puzzle brand they 99% chance that they do not have in their collection yet. And this is a one woman show. So it's a very tiny, small operation in Canada. This is Villager Puzzles. They launched in September. I bought the whole entire collection, already done three of them, and I have loved the quality. And I think for the price point, it's such a beautiful option. Presentation wise, it is beautiful. We have this nice sturdy box. Everything about it is just well thought out design. We have the, sorry, the puzzle pieces are missing here because I just did this puzzle, um, but they have a poster. It's just a lovely box design and presentation. So again, I did this one last night. I've also done this one before, which is called Salt Spring Island. And then this one is very popular. I've heard designs which are called mushrooms. Um, and so I just have really enjoyed her images. And again, it's a brand new company. Now, since they are quite small and she's still figuring things out, they may be out of stock. Um, but I will say it's, such, it's definitely worth the wait. She does accept sometimes pre-orders, so you might be able to pre-order it um, for a future gift. The next puzzle brand I wanted to discuss is very similar in packaging. They do use the same manufacturer, and that is Unified Pieces. This is a black-owned brand, also a smaller operation. And I just have one that I've done, but I have several in my collection. Um, the quality is just absolutely stunning as far as the puzzle quality goes. We have this one here as well. Their images are just very unique and different and modern, which I think is really fun. Um, but also just presentation wise is again a beautiful experience. The puzzles do come in this lovely velvet pouch. We also include a poster and then also we have this poster which actually has its own stand. So you can just like have it up like this and it's just like a really great concept. So I feel like presentation wise it is a really cool idea and it's again newer brand they probably don't have it in their collection and they have some really fun images. Now for me I love to try different unique puzzle brands but I also like trying something completely out of the norms. So I wanted to include some puzzle brands that are not cardboard puzzles. So I have one here that is plastic. I have a couple wooden options and these are really cool for those who want to give something completely different and give the puzzle lover something that they would not expect. So the first option I wanted to discuss, which is a whole other category, which is wooden puzzles. Now this is something that I am still very new at. There are so many different puzzle brands out there. I just have a couple here to mention. For a laser cut wooden puzzle, which you can easily find on Puzzle Warehouse, they also have their own website. And you can find them for around $50, which is definitely a reasonable price for a wooden puzzle. They have some really great options. They don't have too many to choose from. I feel like for me, when I'm gifting a puzzle, or even just shopping for puzzles when a puzzle brand has too many options it can be quite overwhelming this line only has a few dozen different images but they are lovely um, I love the different unique piece cuts I have worked with them in the past so I want to be completely upfront about that but they have a beautiful quality and the images are really fun and I will say they are thicker than most laser cut wooden puzzles these ones are five millimeter where a lot of the um, 
other laser cut puzzles that you can see are usually like a three or four millimeter so thickness of pieces is really fun um, I do have a whole video that I just did recently on them so I'll link them down below but it's a great option again so many other laser cut wooden puzzle brands out there we have Liberty puzzles we have Stumpcraft we have Wentworth and I have tried all of those before and they're all really great options but I want to include this one just because I feel like thickness of pieces it's a little bit higher up there and I feel like giftability it's a beautiful design so I think that would really be a fun option moving into just two other puzzle brands the first one I had to mention was pin 2 this is a brand that does plastic pieces again unique concept if they've never tried it before they also have frames that you can buy alongside them so it might be a great like gift option because you can purchase the puzzle but also the corresponding frame which may just be a really fun idea because not only because they do the puzzle but they could have a nice piece of home decor at the end so so really cool option also has a lovely variety of images they have more photograph stuff they have other things like I've done so many I've done at least eight from them and I've loved every single one um, also a cool idea if they are wanting to try maybe a larger piece count their larger piece counts are broken up into smaller bags so it might just be easier for them to manage there's just so many different options and again I feel like gift wise it might be really fun and the final puzzle brand I wanted to mention is the puzzle co this is a puzzle brand which is really really unique and they are doing so many cool things over there their puzzle pieces are pvc and they are cut with a water jet versus a laser or a grid um, these ones are such a great fit they have beautiful options um, and i have one here sorry this is just a part of it but the puzzle experience was absolutely lovely, but it's a, it's a cool option. You know, I want to include it because it definitely is a unique experience. They can be on the pricier end. If you have a puzzle lover in your life that has like gripping issues, this might be a great option because it's a little bit thicker than your traditional jigsaw puzzle. So that is it for me today. I feel like I've been here for ages, but if you are a puzzler and you want to give other suggestions, please let me know down in the comments below. If I would also love to know which one of these screams out to you the most, if this was helpful. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.